Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. I'm Chris, this is my channel, and this is part of the Blue Collar Gentleman series, the Beer Glassware sub-series. A series that I thought I was actually finished with, but um, I've done a little bit of more research, and I'm always constantly trying to do research, learn more, uh, find new beer blogs, websites, books, things to learn about beer. And uh, I had not anticipated making this video, but uh, doing the research has proven to me that I need to. And we're going to revisit the pint glass. And uh, the reason for that I'm going to explain in just a brief moment. But the previous pint glass video that I made, if you recall, I showed you my New Belgian Fat Tire pint glass. And I showed you the British pint glass. This one that had this sort of almost bottle shaped design here uh, on these sides. Well, <clears throat> after going through a lot of the blogs and looking at a lot of pictures and studying beer glass, beer glasses over and over and uh, you know, doing more research, uh, what I have discovered is that there is a general consensus among the beer community that this is not in fact a pint glass that should be used for uh, beer. In fact, it shouldn't even be referred to as a pint glass. It should only refer be referred to as a Boston shaker glass. Uh, now, <clears throat> if you watch, say, Bar Rescue or... Um, well, frankly, I'm, I'm loath to think of any of the other uh, uh, shows where somebody's actually going to be showing you the how to build or make a drink. But um, Bar Rescue in particular, I watch it. I I'm a fan of the show. Um, and uh, they are always making, and having gone to a bartending school, I remember we used to build um, flat drinks in a glass like this. This was the Boston Shaker. Well, this is a Boston Shaker glass. Uh, the Boston Shaker is the actual uh, metal can with the Boston strainer that goes over it. Now, if you're wondering what the deal with Boston is, if you are unaware, and it's okay if you were, um, Mr. Boston's Bar Guide is pretty much the definitive bar guide in the English-speaking world for how to make drinks, um, recipes, how to conduct yourself as a bartender, things you should know as a bartender, blah, blah, blah. It's all there in Mr. Boston's um, Bartending Guide. And, for, and by those standards, this is, in fact, a Boston... Uh, shaking a Boston shaker glass. So you would uh, you would put glass, you would put ice in this glass, you would um, fill it with spirits all the way up. In fact, I'm going to set this here. You'd, you'd fill it with spirits, and not all the way up, but you'd fill it with spirits and juices and whatnot in order to build your drink. You're going to put the metal can over this, you're going to shake it, and then you're going to, it should be such a nice tight seal that uh, <clears throat> You should be able to um, do like such and, and take the glass off. But we're, I'm not here to discuss spirits. I'm not here to discuss mixed drinks. The long and short of it is, this is, in fact, the Boston um, shaker or, or uh, shaker glass. And is also sometimes referred to some as a tumbler. Now, that's in bar circles. In beer circles, this is a tumbler. I would want to show you the great distinction between this glass and this glass because upon first sight, they could almost seem the same, but they're not. For one, and I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera, I can only hope, but I am going to, I'm going to try and do this. If you can sort of see, it comes a little bit in right here. See, it gets wider up here and in like that. And there's a little notch almost on each side where it gets a little bit more narrow as opposed to this one. Oh, this is gonna be, there we go. As opposed to this one, which is just a full diagonal, straight down, no notches whatsoever, straight down like so. Okay, another feature about this particular glass is that it has a very rounded bottom. See here, how this rounds here at the top, or at the bottom, okay, see that rounding edge? See how the Boston Shaker glass has a very flat and very straight line here? Okay. And then last, I don't know what this is going to, no, this isn't going to quite work. This has a wider mouth than this. If I put these up next to each other, maybe you can see. Yeah, I think you kind of can actually. You see that this one is the wider mouth than this one. So. These elements combined mean that this is, in fact, the pint glass you should be drinking, you should be using to drink your beer. Some have gone so far as to say that this is this glass will kill your beer. 
I think that's a slight exaggeration. <clears throat> the truth of the matter is just about every tap room I've ever been in, whether it was in a brewery or it's just a tap room um, or, you know, at, wherever, if they're, if, they're, if they're yanking beers, if you've got somebody pulling beers there, you're going to get your beer most likely in a glass just like this. This is perfect for the restaurant industry. They stack nicely. They're inexpensive. If you want to see how much you can buy a four pack of these for, uh, go to the video, which I will try to reference. Guys, I'm trying to learn a lot about YouTube, and uh, one of the things I've not been doing properly is referencing um, the video. So I'm going to try to put the pint glass video down in the description um, of this, and I'm also going to try to um, uh, I'm going to put down uh, the the web page for uh, Mr. Boston Drinks, Mr. Boston's Beer Guide. So you can go there and learn about um, drinks there. I believe, you know, one of the, one of the smart things for anybody who's going to be is going to be learning and reviewing beer is you got to get to know wine and spirits too, because um, they're cousins, you know. And a lot of times, wines are going to have an effect on beers. Beers are going to have an effect on wines. Um, with the coming of beer cocktails, and I promise you guys that it it is coming. The beer cocktail book co uh, cookbook is coming. I'm working on it. I really, truly am. I'm trying to get it out. I'm doing my best. I've got other things in the process, but I have not forgotten about it, and I am doing a little bit every once and again trying to get it together. But um, anyway, the long and short of it is this is what you want to be building your drinks in. And these are what you want to be drinking your beer out of. So from here on forward, uh, a lot. if you'll notice in my reviews, a lot of times if it was a, a beer that was difficult to pin down a, a variety, like say if it's just a summer ale or something like that, I've been prone to using the Boston Tumbler glasses like this. Well, those days are over. I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to be using these. Um, this actually in some circles, and in fact the beer glass set that Nancy bought me for Christmas, out of which this came, refers to this as a porter stout. Um, uh, glass. So I think what I'm going to do is, is when it's a lighter beer, a lager, um, or uh, a light, if it's a lighter summer ale or something like that, it's going to go in here. Uh, but porters and stouts are probably going to go into this one. Uh, American pale ales, British pale ales, um, because you know so many varieties basically get relegated to the pint glass. These are going to be the two pint glasses I'm going to use. This for probably the darker, heavier, full-bodied ones just for the lighter, more snappy ones. Um, but I won't be using the Boston Tumbler glass anymore. I don't want to be using that. And I don't want to be encouraging you to use it either because I, I remember very distinctly in the video telling you to get a four pack of these, to get a few four packs of these and have these on hand for your friends. Uh, if you're going to have say a beer tasting party or a beer, a bottle share or something like that, don't do that. Spend a couple of bucks more and get the proper glassware. This one is the one I would highly recommend, just because it's so close to the others. If I had more of these, I would imagine they would stack pretty well. That stacks so-so. Um, I don't know how well these would stack into each other. Maybe they'd be fine. I don't know, but uh, I, I only have one of each of these. I've got more than a few of these, and I can tell you these stack perfectly, and that's why restaurants use them. As long as you don't stack too many together, and then they create too much weight against themselves, and they start cracking. But as long as you don't uh, stack these more than, say, five or six high, you're doing just fine with these. Um, so, but uh, once again, if you're not a, a tap room and you're not trying to go for efficiency, this is what you need to be drinking out of, either the British pint or the Porter Stout pint as displayed right here. I'm gonna show them one more time. British pint, Porter Stout pint, okay? So these are the glasses you need to use to be drinking your, your, uh, your varieties of beer that are basically relegated to the pint glass. So guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, remember that part of the gentleman's code is always trying to seek self-improvement. Cheers, guys. Thanks.